What happened at a wedding that made it obvious that the bride and groom shouldn't be getting married? Are they still together? About an hour before my cousin's wedding she made the comment that her next wedding wasn't going to be as big and complicated. She was right her second wedding was super small. Edit. Totally forgot the possessive s oops. Holy shit. I came here to post something similar. I was a bridesmaid in a wedding where the bride was planning her next wedding in the car on the way to the wedding. Everyone was completely silent before her maid of honor said let's just get through this one. Double quote. Edited to update. The couple lasted 3 years. While getting up the stairs. The groom stepped on the bride's gown. She turned and slapped him and called him blind. He turned the other way and left. When Jesus said turn the other cheek. He didn't mean the ass cheek. They got married after a 10 year relationship. The wedding was painful to watch as they had such a bad fight the night before they barely spoke to each other all day. Hardly looked at each other. They split up 8 weeks later. I know 3 couples who were together for over 10 years before getting married and none of them worked out. You'd think they'd have a good foundation in the relationship but I guess getting married sets different expectations and by that point. No one wants to change anymore. A wedding guest looking out of the window beamed at the groom waiting at the altar and said she's here. And the groom jokingly pretended to run away. It went down like a lead balloon because he had actually run away the previous year. Literally went out to the shops and didn't come back for 8 weeks. While she was pregnant with their first child. The bride's mother gave him a look that would have wilted the wedding flowers and happy chatter in the room turned to frosty silence, just in time for the entrance of the bride. They are still together many years later and have had more children together but I wouldn't describe them as happily married. The bride got so drunk that the bar cut her, and everyone else, off. The groom was also drunk. People started leaving at midnight. And the bride got mad and yelled about how they were all ruining her wedding because she wanted to dance and drink more. I was their designated driver to get them to their hotel. The entire drive there. They fought. She berated him. He cried. That was a long 20 minute drive. I could have scrubbed vomit out with cleaners. But the awkwardness has stained that car forever. They've been together 7 years. Their daughter. Born 9 months after the wedding. Is adorable. Comma at all. Bride's father ran away with groom's mother on the day of their wedding. Are you from India? The same thing was all over the news. They came back after a while but ran off again recently apparently because the husband of the woman wouldn't accept her again. At a friend's wedding, two years ago, the bride kept the bar open until 3am after the groom went home at 10pm. She kept telling everyone that she is just with him because he has money and a flat. They are now going through a divorce after she cheated on him. I have a few. Most obvious one was the bride getting caught blowing somebody other than her husband in the parking lot between the wedding ceremony and reception, and for part B. They aren't together. They weren't even together when the reception started. My sister-in-law got married last fall and after the ceremony they got in an epic fight over the marriage certificate and didn't come to the reception until 2 hours after it started. A week later. They separated for a few weeks while trashing each other on Facebook. They're still together and she's now pregnant. Edit. I also photographed this wedding and it was the most stressful professional experience I've ever had. I forgot to mention too that the groom and groom's men dropped a bunch of acid before the ceremony and continued into the reception. He freaked out. Had a panic attack. And left. Wedding reception of my best friend. We had a dance. He says in my ear it should have been you I left. Cried all the way home in a taxi. Haven't spoken since. He's still married to her. I went to a person's wedding that was my first love. While dancing with her mom. The bride's mother told me she thought and hoped I would marry her daughter. It was actually sweet. She was fine with who her daughter married. Me too, but she knew how much I loved K. Edit. The guesses are fking hilarious. Got me laughing. Her name is just so unique that it would be a douchebag move to post it. Her husband doesn't need to know that his wonderful mother-in-law told me that in confidence. 
During the cake cutting he smashed cake in her face. She immediately started crying and went to the bathroom for about 30 minutes. Then they got into a huge fight and barely spoke the rest of the night. Shockingly they are still married. But they still fight all the time. She's my friend from college so we keep in touch occasionally. She never has good things to say about him. My mama has always said it's pretty telling how a couple behaves during the cut of the cake. I've always paid attention to that and she is right. The level of respect they have for each other shows up better at this moment than any other. On their first dance. He kept trying to kiss her and she would avoid it very subtlety. I noticed that and thought um I don't think she loves him. I wasn't wrong. They divorced within the first year. I saw a video of the first dance like this. My brother-in-law taped it and said this couple is getting divorced. Not even 3 months later they were divorced. My brother's wedding. It was super uncomfortable and awkward during their engagement. My parents kept asking him if he was sure. He said yes. Then came the wedding. Super small. When they said to kiss. They both went in for a peck. But she turned her face at the last minute so he kissed her cheek. My husband yelled for them to do it again. I was also their wedding photographer and he knew I didn't get a good shot. The marriage only got weirder and worse from there. They acted like they were on an awkward first date every day. Finally a year later they divorced. My parents attended a wedding where the bride's mother persistently told the groom to pay more attention to her daughter, I. E. The bride, instead of just chatting with his friends. The bride seemed upset. My parents came back from the wedding. Which was in spring. Predicting it would be over by Christmas. Five years and two children later the couple are still together and seem pretty happy. The groom had his car stolen on the morning of the wedding and spent the whole day swearing and punching inanimate objects because. As we all heard a thousand times that day. Not only was it the most important thing in his life it also wasn't insured. The wedding was at a boy scout hall. For no apparent reason. And the reception was in the cafeteria at one of those underwater world places with a glass tunnel. But no one was allowed to go see the fish because. Get this. The whole day had a Lion King theme. Then towards the end of the night the bride beat one of the bridesmaids half to death because she caught her F King a groomsman who she tearfully admonished for cheating on her. I have no idea how long the marriage lasted for. I never saw or heard from them again. Bride got drunk and started screaming about how much she hated her in-laws. Who were obviously within earshot. They lasted a few years. Had kids. And unfortunately are spending thousands in a nasty divorce right now. Well. The wedding was in his parents lounge. It was a quickly wedding and she was 8 months pregnant. Both very young. He paused part way through his vows and said I love my child. That's why I'm doing this. Then he cried. I tried to stop it. Told him not to do it out of obligation to the child. He said he had to. She glared at me and his parents were furious at me. They got married. Had 3 kids cheated on each other all through their marriage. He's with someone else now and both have kids to other people. She's a single mom now. But he cheated on his new partner with her and they tried to make it work before giving up again and reverting back to him going back to his partner and her being single. We were good friends with a couple who fought all the time. She wanted to get married desperately and he was indifferent. After years of nagging he finally proposed. On the day of the wedding. Right before he walked out. He looked at us and sighed well. Maybe now she will stop nagging at me and finally be fking happy. They are now divorced, she cheated on him with some guy she used to date. I was his best man and he spent 50a on the rings because he knew she would leave him as soon as she realizes that he really doesn't want kids and it's not just a phase. Took her 6 months. I was his best man again yesterday and this time the rings were solid. When the priest equivalent said you may kiss the bride she turned so that it would be a kiss on the cheek. Even as a child that set off alarm bells. They have been divorced for a long time. Shortly after the ceremony the groom announced to everyone including his bride, my niece. That he had enlisted in the navy and was due to report in a few weeks. And X200B. 
She was beyond surprised. They didn't even make it a year. She was barely around during the reception and no one could find the bride. Two weeks later she was already cheating on her husband. They were divorced in less than a year. Not to the wedding part yet but my friend got engaged to his GF and not too long ago she told my fiance, they are best friends, that she was going to the clinic to get an STD test and needed an alibi to hide it from my friend. Still don't know how to bring this up without completely destroying people's lives. If she tells her fiance that she does have an STD and possibly gave it to her friend you're really going to have a moral dilemma on your hands lol. The bride and groom both got coked up and got into some kind of argument over the bride wanting him to help her undo her dress. It ended with the groom beating the bride beyond recognition and being arrested. He was charged and given a restraining order and their marriage lasted one day. He was caught doing coke in the car before the wedding started. The bride was pregnant at the time. They're still married. Fight constantly and now want another baby. They were both high on heroin and this wedding was all planned by the bride's family the same day as they had decided to get married the night before. The groom's family didn't even show up so he only had his best friend attend. The reception was just a big table at the same restaurant where the bride's, now divorced, parents had their wedding reception. This was when the bride's best friend decided to tell her family that she was on drugs. They spend their wedding night getting high using the cash they were gifted. I am thankfully no longer married and am now sober. Not so much evidence that they shouldn't have been together but evidence that my seal is just a horrible. Thoughtless person. The wedding was supposed to start at 3. 0 pm. At 3. She was getting in a bathtub in her hotel room to unwind before starting to get ready. All of us bridesmaids were already ready. I had to call my mom and tell her that we were at least an hour out. My brother was there waiting already. Oh. And it was October, Halloween. Around 40 f and windy. And it was an outdoor wedding in a park with no indoor venue attached. Their poor guests ended up waiting more than an hour and a half. The divorce papers have been filed and should be final within a few months. Went to a wedding for an extended family member a few months ago where. During the ceremony. She bent down and washed his feet in this bowl. He did not wash her feet. It took a weirdly long time and it was super awkward. Then the vows were all about how the woman must always submit. It's only been a few months. But I don't know how long it'll last. That is creepy. He was so hammered he could barely stand for his vows and they got in a huge fight at the reception. Lasted less than a year. Not at the wedding but at the practice run the night before. Bride and groom get in an argument because the bride doesn't want the groom to kiss her for longer than just a quick peck on the lips. Marriage lasted about 2 years. Some people just have different levels of PDA that they're comfortable with. My one mate had a wedding in Jamaica. After dating this girl for less than a year. They fought all the time and the night before the wedding he called me and had a heart to heart about how he doesn't think they should get married and that there is no spark. He ends up getting married. And I find out a few months later that I was one of 8 people he called that night. I think he was hoping one of us would make him cancel the wedding. They lasted 1 year and 2 weeks. Edit. Thanks for the cake day comments. The groom drunkenly cornered my roommate and demanded a blowjob as a wedding gift. Apparently he was under the mistaken impression that all gay men are excited to give pretty much anyone a blowjob at any time. My roommate declined the invitation. Shockingly. That marriage did not last. Bride's family looked super underdressed, except her brother, for her wedding and she didn't have a father-daughter dance. She danced with her brother instead and when they were dancing. She was tearing up. Her family also left early. Again except her brother. The groom's family loved her and didn't understand why they didn't seem supportive. They are still together and just recently had their son. They had been on and off for 6 years. Mainly because of his alcohol problems. He promised to quit for good if they got married and she moved in. You can all guess how well it went. Married for 4 months. Bride kept telling anyone who'd listen that she booked the wedding through Gruppen and it was super cheap. 
They hadn't planned to get married until she saw the deal online. Not sure how long it lasted but she posted a sarcastic comment about how successful her marriage was on Facebook on her first anniversary, using the memories feature. The DJ kept playing sad. Breakup music the whole night. I thought it was hilarious at the time but now they're two kids and utterly miserable. Just end it already. My second wedding. The officiant asked if anyone had any reason these two should not be wed. A storm was coming. And at that exact moment a very low pitched rumble of thunder came from the sky. Everyone just kind of stopped and looked up. I said maybe try that again. Everyone chuckled. He asked again and nothing. Found out 5 months later that she had been cheating on me for a while. We aren't together anymore. I was best man in my best friend's wedding. He had only ever been intimate with his girlfriend and resented she had experiences with other people. He and a co-worker became close. And started to mess around. Eventually he broke it off with the co-worker and proposed to the girlfriend. During a stressful moment the day of the rehearsal dinner. He told his bride to be about the co-worker. In that way you decide to use a nuclear bomb to win an argument. Needless to say. This created tension all through dinner. Into the wedding day and reception. The wedding evening ended with me in a hotel room. Consoling the bride. Who was in tears. Doing my best to reassure her that it would be okay. They ended up getting divorced eventually. Bride stabbed groom during the cake cutting ritual. They are still married. But it's a shitty show.